Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's troll face. I'm not died. Hey guys. So welcome back to my channel. So that was the worst intro I've ever done. Ever done. Today's video is gonna be another episode of Rewatching the Grassy, where today we are gonna be rewatching season one, episode three. If you missed the rewatch to the season premiere or the series premiere, I'm gonna have that link down below and I'm also gonna put a card in the corner so that you can check that out first. But yeah, today is gonna be season one, episode three, titled Family Politics. Um, I think this is the episode where both Ashley and Toby are like running for like school president or something. Honestly, I don't remember. I'm sure it's gonna come to me once I start watching it. Cause like I said, in the last video. I haven't watched some of these episodes in like a good, like, probably decade. Let's just go ahead and get started. This is gonna be the best year ever. Ashley. Uh, I kind of don't like Ashley. <laughs> Kinda. I am not a shoe in We won't even See? know if I'm the grassy president. I knew it was the grassy president. <laughs> okay. Toby out. How do you know it's me? Could be your mom. Could be my dad. They have their own bathroom. If you guys don't remember from last episode, if you remember the scene when Toby first met up with JT and he was talking about how his dad just moved in with his girlfriend. My dad moved in with his girlfriend and uh, the grass is a His girlfriend is Ashley's mom. So now they're living together. I don't think they're married at this point. They're just dating. So they're not like stepbrother and stepsister yet. So why is this episode called family politics if they're not really a family yet. Just a little backstory for you guys who've never seen this before. Toby, I have to get something. Get what? Your hairbrush? Your eyeliner? Your training bra? Mom! <laughs> training bra? Terry is an underrated character. People like to shit on Terry, but Terry is so underrated. One of my faves. Paige icon. Why would she wear that to school? Okay, this, this. Oh my God, did he really just. Okay, let's, let's decipher Paige's outfit for her first day of eighth grade. Grade eight, as they like to call it in Canada. Let's just go. Let's just look at it. The shoes are atrocious. Are they like, they're like a kitten heel or like a wedge, a kitten wedge. They're kitten wedges with these sh pants that are like cuffed like 20 inches high. And then her purse is like a see-through like box that you'll see on like the Saw movies. And then a crop top with the words hottie on it and these glasses. Paige, okay, it's 2001. Let's just think about it, 2001. But still, this whole outfit is trash. The only thing I can say I like is, I couldn't even come up with anything. It's, the whole thing's shitty. If that was my middle school, she wouldn't have gone home and have to change. That is not an acceptable, outfit to wear to your first day of eighth grade. You're not allowed on school property without a hall pass. But we didn't get one. Then you'll both have to leave. But we can't. It's the first day of school. Grade sevens are such geeks. I don't know why I'm smiling throughout this, but just think about it. Spinner and Emma, about 10 years down the line, they're going to be married. For the people that's never seen the grassy before, you know, like Spinner and Emma get married. Okay, I kind of spoiled it for you, sorry. But for the true to grassy fans, I don't know if people have forgiven the creators for that, but I'm still confused as to why and how Spinner and Emma eventually get married. Like, this year, am I gonna have to give you what was it, another 14 detentions? Not if you don't want to. Okay, Miss Kwan was kind of annoying, but Spinner was even more annoying. Oh, get someone else to run. Yeah, right. Who wanna run for student council? Oh yeah, JT's gonna run. And Toby's gonna like help him out. Okay. Yeah, now it's coming to me now. It's coming to me. We're gonna be a great team. Just think. I'd like to discuss a few ideas where our policies will be in 
Your poster's a little high on the left. Never even so What's that all about? You are so wasting your time. School president is always in eighth grade. Well, uh, this year that's going to change. Ooh. I think Ashley and I, Liberty Van Zandt, will make an excellent team. And if I, Liberty Van Zandt, will make a great team. Liberty was annoyed too. Absolutely. Pretty much the synopsis of the first like two seasons. Everyone's pretty annoyed. <laughs> like fucking, you got Paige with this ugly outfit. You got Ashley with her ugly eyebrows. You got Emma, which is like the epitome of annoying. You're not actually worried, are you? <laughs> no. I Ashley is in distress, just like Snake was in distress last episode. Ashley in distress. Ashley in distress. This is a lot going on in the very first day of school, like, what about going to class and, like, getting your code of conduct and, like, getting all your freaking whatever they do on first day of school? I don't know. It's been so long. If you would like me, I'll make those staff washrooms our washrooms. So vote for JT. You'll do the right thing. Ashley in distress. You'll love her. Nice to meet you. Toby's troll face. I'm not Died. And he doesn't know anything because he just got there. Ashley, what's the problem? Oh, great, take his side again. Don't even try to figure out what we're talking about. She Wait, didn't so even like, breaks. you didn't even explain Ever what's breaks. going on. Why is she already Tell yelling at her mom? Run. <laughs> you wish. Just think, you're about to lose to a seventh grader. Toby's a really good troll. I can give him that. He's a good ass troll. He knows how to give a good troll uh, face. Like, Paige. and of course, Ashley's gonna win today. Sure, so oh, in my belt, please. Why does Paige keep wearing these crop tops at school in that same purse? She swears she cute, but she wearing the same purse. Like, girl, step your purse game up, that ugly ass box. It's not even a purse, it's a box. It's a lunch box. It's a lunch box. All she has in there is candy, like a normal eighth grader, like candy and like colored pencils. I, Liberty Van Zandt, I'm elected as secretary. I will work closely with JT to ensure excellent standards of student government. <laughs> Liberty knows she's a bad bitch. Well, she's really not yet, uh, but hi. the way she just You're adjusted, she was like, What? What did I do? Like, 80 bucks and that's my final offer. $80? $80 is a lot of money. It's okay, man. He's gone. I knew it would work. Always does on my brother. Yes, Queen Manny. Wait, wait. Always works on my brother? When did Manny have a brother? Manny has never had a brother. I'm trying to think. I don't think I've ever... I don't think they've ever shown Manny having a brother on the show. Manny doesn't have a brother. That's a lie. She's just lied. So the money. It's corruption. Oh, how thrilling. You learned a new word. Oh, you want thrilling? Wait till I go up on stage and tell everyone what you did. Oh. But JT took the money. No, he accepted it as evidence. You wouldn't. I will. I'm heading up there and telling everyone what a fraud Ashley Kerwin is. But the moment you moved in, everything became all about you. About me? Do you have any idea what it's like living in your house? Please. My mom totes on you. She doesn't care what I feel as long as you're happy. Who cares? A school president. No one gives a f Oh, uh, shut up, Ashley. No one cares about your stupid speech. Your speech is gonna be so bad. It's gonna be. I think we would still like to hear what Ashley has to say. Ashley, no, we don't really care, Mr. Radich. We don't care. We don't. We don't. No way. Yeah, whatever. I'm not lying. We don't even get to hear her speech. That's how bad it is. Well, for the first time in a month, I don't want to rip your eyes out. Wow. Dr. Freed would be so proud. Boo, Toby, you should have cussed that bitch out. You should have let her have it. Okay, that's the end of episode two, or technically episode three. It's weird that they went from such a dramatic, intense storyline to something so trivial, but I, I can see why. You don't want to hit them with an intense storyline after intense. You know, some episodes of Degrassi is a lot more tamer than other ones and this is one of them but i mean it's still good it's still good shitting on everyone and like being annoyed with liberty and being annoyed with ashley like it's still 
still great fun. So that's gonna be the end of episode three. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit a like, hit a like. Leave me with a like, hit me with a subscribe, and you know, I'm gonna be trying to post two of these a week. So this is, I guess Monday was one, today is another one, and then probably another next week. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, uh, uh, ow, my back hurts. Bye.